like to now ask Mr. Oriolua Albert Ajayi to give the valedictory address. I'd like to start off by acknowledging the presence of Chancellor Weiner, Chairman Haber, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Muhammad, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. I derive great pleasure and honor this day to stand before my friends and colleagues and their families to represent the graduating class of 2017 in giving this speech. It's the day we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. It only seems like yesterday, far, far away in Nigeria, when I received my letter of admission to Concordia University. I was a young and enthusiastic secondary school graduate looking on to the next stages of life, much like today, and ecstatic to be commencing my studies in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Concordia University. As a young lad, I sought to experience a diversity of cultures and new places, to not only acquire a formal education, but lifelong learning in an institution that will support me in achieving my goals and aspirations. It has actually been four years, six months, and 26 days since I left the shores of my country. I have been keeping, I have been keeping count. In retrospect, Little did I know where this journey to a foreign land will lead. What challenges will I face? How will I adapt to this alien culture and climate? It is often said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step, or in my case, a journey of approximately 8,419 kilometers. Integers, not floating numbers, I didn't have enough space. Before taking the first step, I was faced with many uncertainties. Studying at Concordia as an international student does come with a hefty price tag. Hefty considering I am not from the most affluent of backgrounds. My late father was a humble professor of educational management and psychology for 35 years. And my lovely mother, a retired computer scientist turned social development worker. And together they had three sons, of which I am the youngest. My father believed that the best gift he could ever give his children was to educate them. He passed away unexpectedly in March as we were discussing plans for him to attend today's ceremony. Filled with grief and anger, unconsolable and crestfallen, I lost my motivation to complete the semester. But my resolve was not to disappoint him. I owe this day and everything I've ever achieved and will ever achieve to his support and love. I wish I, could, I wish I could have witnessed this day, but I know I'm not alone in remembering those of us, in remembering those who are with us today in spirit and whom we hold in love and gratitude. But of course, I have never walked alone. I've always had the comfort of family around me. They have been with me all through, providing for me in every way they can. I would never have made it this far without them. Like many of us here, we owe this very moment to the support and care of our families. Hence, this isn't just a day to celebrate our achievements. We acknowledge and celebrate our parents, our siblings, our spouses, and for those who have children, our children also. To my dear colleagues graduating this day, you have toiled and labored hard, trust me, I know. You all deserve to take delight in your achievements and be filled with pride for what you have achieved this very day. Graduating with a degree in electrical and computer engineering, sorry, in engineering and computer science is by no means a small feat. It is also imperative that I remind us that while we celebrate this day, we must also look forward to the future. 
as distinct as the 10 figures on our hands are, so different also are the different career paths each and every one of us will undertake. The future has been and will always be uncertain. It will have its bright spots as well as its bleak ones. But despite modern uncertainties, I draw inspiration from Captain James Tiberius Kirk, who once said, they used to say if man was meant to fly, he'd have wings. But he did fly. He discovered he had to. We as future engineers and computer scientists carry on our shoulders the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of mankind. So we have no choice but to soar above all obstacles. I wish us all the strength and courage to face the future and urge us to strive to learn and share our knowledge with each other and also to take from the wisdom of those more experienced than us over the years of what is sure to be a long and adventurous career for us all. I'd like to express my profound gratitude to the academic and non-academic staff at, Con at Concordia University for their work, their tremendous work, in making this day a possibility and a success. Once again, I say congratulations to the class of 2017. Happy celebrations. Mr. Ajayi, I thank you for your welcome remarks, your graciousness, your humility, and I wish you nothing but good fortune. Thank you. <laughs>